Okay. So, uh, you know, we got to talk about this whole AI agent thing, right? I mean, it's everywhere you look these days. Yeah, it's really blowing up. And you sent over some really interesting stuff on it, yeah. especially what OpenAI is saying. Right. It's like they're saying AI agents are going to be like as normal as smartphones are now by 2025. Yeah. That's a pretty bold prediction. It is. So, like, to really break this down, what exactly are we talking about when we say AI agent? Yeah, it's a good question because it's easy to get things mixed up. Right. Like, we've got chatbots, virtual assistants. Right, right. What makes an AI agent different? Yeah. I think the big thing is the autonomy. Okay. An AI agent, you're not just telling it to do one specific thing, like with a chatbot or a virtual assistant. Right. It's more like... This is going to sound weird, right. but it's almost like a digital version of someone who gets what you want, learns how you like things done, mm. and then actually goes out and does those things, even if it takes using different apps or websites. So it's not just like, hey, set a reminder anymore. No, no. This is way beyond that. Wow. We're talking about AI that's kind of managing things, making decisions for you. Okay. So you can see why people are both excited and maybe a little freaked out. Absolutely. And OpenAI is not just talking about this. They're building it. Right, right. This O1 model they've got, it's supposed to be crazy good at conversation. Okay. Like, almost like you're on the phone with a real person back and forth. See, that's what blows my mind a little bit. It's not that robotic voice anymore. Nope. We're talking about AI that gets nuance, context, maybe even humor if we're lucky. That's the goal. Imagine this. You're talking to your AI agent. You mentioned a trip you're thinking about. Uh -huh. It doesn't just book flights and hotels. It suggests things to do based on what you like, how much money you want to spend. Oh, wow. That's the kind of thing they're going for. That's wild, but also, I don't know. How much control are we really giving up then? Exactly, and it's not just open AI on this. Google, Meta, Apple, everyone's pouring money into it. So this is a full-on tech race, huh? Okay. But why? Is it just to be the first one out there, or is there something bigger going on? This is about a whole new market opening up. Bigger than smartphones, some people think. Wow. Okay, so, like, how... You mean an example. Imagine AI handling your schedule, your money, even parts of your business. Hold on. Seriously. Businesses, too. That's what they're saying. Like, you've got AI analyzing your data, making decisions. Okay, now that is both fascinating and a little bit scary. I know, right? Like, where does it stop? And that's what we're going to get into because there are some big implications here, okay. good and potentially challenging ones. So we've talked about how big this whole AI agent thing could be, but how are they going to actually make these things so smart? Right. The stuff you sent over mentioned GPT-40. Yeah. Now, we've talked about GPT before. But what makes this one different? Is this the secret sauce? Kind of, yeah. GBT40, it's a huge jump in language models. Okay. And those are like the core of how AI understands, you know, human language. Right, right. But this one, it's not just about seeing patterns in data anymore. It's about getting context, the little things, even like humor, sarcasm, stuff that used to trip AI up. So we're not just talking about knowing the words now. It's about understanding what they mean. Exactly. And that changes everything because now AI agents can do more than just basic stuff. Right. They can actually start to think, well, not really think, but, you know. Get there. Yeah. Handle more complicated stuff, have real back and forth. And the source mentioned this could really change things in healthcare, education, entertainment. Oh, yeah. Big time. What kind of stuff are we talking about here, realistically? Well, think about it. You could have an AI tutor that actually tailors lessons to each student. Wow. Figures out how they learn best, gives them feedback right then and there. That's wild. Or in healthcare, AI working with doctors, going through records, suggesting diagnoses even. Really? Maybe even helping with surgery. Who yeah. knows? Okay, now that's kind of blowing my mind. But obviously, we got to talk about the downsides, too, right? Sure, yeah. Like, are, are robots going to take all our jobs now? That's the big question everyone's asking, and it's not an easy answer. Right. Like, any new tech, there's going to be an adjustment period, for sure. Yeah. And this source, it brought up something really important, too, about access. Oh, right. Not everyone can just get this stuff. Exactly. Right now it's expensive, so does that mean only the wealthy benefit? That's a really good point. And that's something we have to think about because do we want AI to make things more equal or less? Exactly. It's not just about the tech. It's about how we use it. A hundred percent. This is starting to feel like a really crucial moment for AI. It really is. Like we're making decisions right now that will affect everything everything. Yeah. And how do we make sure it's used for good? How do we even know what that means? Right. 
big, big questions. Huge. So much to unpack here, right? But I guess the big question is, what does all this actually mean for, you know, people like us, not just the tech geniuses building it? Yeah, that's the million dollar question. And honestly, it's still kind of up in the air, you know? Right. Things are changing so fast, it's almost impossible to predict where it's all going to go. Exciting and also a little scary, right? Like we're going somewhere completely new here. Exactly. We yeah. are. And that's why it's more important than ever to be paying attention. Right. Because the decisions we're making now as a society about how we build this stuff, control it, let it into our lives, yeah. that's going to decide what the world looks like for like our kids and grandkids, you know? So it's not just about the tech itself, it's about the values we like bake into it. A hundred percent. Like what kind of future are we aiming for here? One where... AI helps people be more creative, more connected, happier even? Right. Or do we end up with more inequality, more division, maybe even, I don't know, chaos because of this stuff? Okay, now those are some heavy questions. Feels like the stakes are pretty high with this stuff. They are, but you know, I'm actually optimistic. Oh yeah. Why is that? Because at least we are talking about it now. Like we're thinking about the consequences before it's too late. Right, right. Better to be proactive than trying to fix it later. Exactly. And that takes me back to something in that article you shared about AI agents becoming as common as smartphones are now. Oh, yeah. Think about that for a second. What kind of world do you want to create with that kind of power? Whoa. Okay, now that's a question to think about. And I think that's a good place to wrap things up for today. But wow, so much to consider. It's not like the future's already decided, right? Not at all. It's something we're all kind of building together. That's right. So thanks for joining me on this deep dive. Hopefully you learned something new, had something to think about, and maybe even feel a little bit inspired to, I don't know, help shape this future. Until next time, keep those minds curious and keep those questions coming.